Welcome to raigurkul.com. In this video, we will discuss about what is verification and validation in software testing and how it is needed for software testing process. So we'll see here what is verification and validation, when to use verification, what is validation testing, when to use validations, difference between verification and validation in detail. So if you want to learn about software testing and the complete process please watch my complete software testing playlist and if you're visiting this channel first time don't forget to hit subscribe button so that whenever i will update any video you'll get notified and don't forget on clicking bell icon so that it will get notified to you now first of all software testing is a course of looking the usefulness and conduct of the product through verification and validations when we are talking about verifications this is deciding whether the product is planned and created according to predefined necessities so whenever any software development process will start that time we always receive the business requirement document so based on this requirement documents testing team is verifying the product is planned accurately or not according to predefined necessity it means the whatever functionalities and user is looking is implemented or not validation is the most common way of checking if the product or final result has met the client actual requirement and assumptions as i mentioned in the brd document it's always mentions the expected result of any functionality so whenever the validation will be performed it is always calculated with the final result now software testing is incomplete until the complete product will goes under verification and validations so let's consider one small example login page without verifying the user credentials people or user won't be able to log in into that applications so generally that's where the validation will be required verifications is adding the accurate credentials about login page now what is verification testing so it's the most common way of deciding whether the product been preferred or referred to its plan and created by determined necessity so whenever the development team will start building the application or creating the applications applications they always try to understand the complete requirement without requirement understanding they won't proceed it further otherwise they have to end off with common changes so details go about as contributions for the product advancement process the code for any software application is written based on the specification document the main advantage of the verifications are it acts as the quality kit at every stage of the software development process this also enables software teams to develop products that meet design specification and customer needs so normally this is comparing with between the defined requirements as well as built applications so comparison between these two will come up with the part of verifications this also saves times by detecting the defects at the early stage of software development process it reduces or eliminates defects that may arise at the latter stage of software development process now a walk through of verification of versatile applications generally looks like there are three different phases of verification testing or development so first is requirement verifications where the testing team will verify complete requirements then design verifications where they will verify each and every piece of design built on applications then finally the code verifications in code verifications test team team has to verify the complete code how it is working and where it is lying is there any reproducible defects are as arised or not so these all will be covered in terms of verifications as i mentioned requirement verifications complete process of verifying confirming that the requirements are complete clear and correct there is no glitches between the teams as well as documents 
Design verifications as a set checking if the design of the software meets the design specification by providing their evidences. And finally, code verifications, which is a complete process of checking and verifying the correctness and consistency of the code. Now, when to use verification testing? Verification test must be run at every stage of development before any feature is implemented. For example, let's consider button label add to cart. Before starting off with creating this button, verification test would look through all relevant requirements previously decided in the ideations and brainstorming phases. So if we can take an example of e-commerce page where we have add to cart buttons are available, but generally for adding these button, what is the line? What is the alignment of the button? which all factors will be involved, where we can relocate it and what is the purpose of adding this button. This every team member will thoroughly verify based on that they will provide the for the approval for the implementations. Now coming down to the validations. So validation is many times directed after the traditions of the whole software development process. It checks in the event that the client gets the item they are anticipating. Validation centers just around the result. It does not concern itself about the interior cycle and specialized complexities of the development infractions. The main advantage of validations, this will ensure the expectations of all the stakeholders that are fulfilled. It enables software teams to take corrective actions if there is a mismatch between the actual product and the anticipated product. This also improves the reliability of the end product. So as I said, when we are doing the validation sessions, generally verifying the correctness of the functionality. Let's again come back to the login page example. In login page example, if user will enter write username with the wrong password that definitely not be able to log in within that applications because in backend our backend code will go to the database and check out the username and password is matching if both the credentials both the details are not matching perfectly fine then the user won't be able to log in that is called as validations now a walkthrough of verification of versatile applications which has said validation emphasizes checking the functionality usability and performance of the mobile applications where the question is arises based on the functionality testing this checks the complete functionality of mobile applications working as expected or not whether it comes to the mobile web-based application or any desktop applications then it is thoroughly verifying the usability testing where this checks the requirement as well as the build product and finally the performance which will verify the throughput of the applications how our application is we have been when one single user is interacting with this functionality and when millions of users are interacting within that functionality so this enables testers to validate the application by checking its reaction and speed on the specified workload when to use validation testing so validation test must be run after every features or steps in the development process is completed for example unit test a form of validation test are run after every unit of code has been created integration tests are run after multiple modules have been completed individually and are ready to be combined now when it comes to the difference between verification and validations which is very important questions of any interview process so verification is the static practice of verifying documents design code and program however validation is dynamic mechanism of validating and testing the actual product where we are verifying the complete code in terms of functionality usability and performance testing in verification, this does not involve executing the code via because we are perfectly verifying the complete statics practice of documents design and program only. In validations, we always involve executing the codes as well. Verification uses methods like inspections, reviews, walkthroughs, and desk checking, where 
in its inspections we are thoroughly verifying the each and every part of the functionality the reviews we are verifying in terms of reviews but in in validations which uses like black box functional testing gray box and white box structural testing verification is to check whether the software conforms by its specifications which is defined in the business requirement document validation is to check whether software meets the customer expectations and requirements verifications generally comes first done before validations and validations it generally follows after verifications so that's all about verification and validations let's recap we have started with the introductions of verification and validations then we have discussed about when to use verification when to use validations and finally the differences of verification and validations which is very important part of any interview process so that's all about this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching